Hello there, my precious little cuppy cakes, and welcome to another installment of... Oh my gosh, right off the bat, I have to tell you guys, I am having the weirdest day. So first, I come home to my apartment and I go and look at my printer and I see that it has printed two documents. Now that wouldn't be so weird if it wasn't for the fact that I have been gone all day. No one has been here other than my cat. My computer was not even here so I don't really know how it printed these two documents. I have one of two theories. Number one, sentient printers. My second theory being that my cat has somehow developed the telepathic ability to print shit. Now, I'm not really sure which one is scarier, so take a second to think on that. Speaking of scary things, this is the thing that I saw today in my parking garage. Seems legit, right? <laughs> Suddenly a wild scarf appears. Hey! But anyways, yeah, so that's been my day so far. It's been really, really weird. Well, for those of you that don't know, I live in this amazing city. is I haven't always been a city girl. I grew up in a place that looked more like this. Naturally when I moved here there were quite a few things about city life that I didn't understand and honestly I still kind of struggle to understand. Well, I'm gonna just list off a few of them. Traffic. Traffic makes absolutely no sense here in any way shape or form. What should take me 10 minutes to get from one part of the city to the other ends up taking me an hour. And you know it's just so incredibly frustrating that I don't know what I would do if it wasn't for the fact that I really enjoy singing to myself in my car. Amanda's 24 and that is what she does with her life. Another thing that completely perplexes me is public transportation. Just about every morning I take the train into school and for those of you who aren't familiar with what it's like in a city, oh about around 8 a.m. is absolute hell on any form of public transportation. When I'm riding the train it's great because I, you know, I'm not a short girl, nor am I a super tall girl, but I seem to be at the optimum height to be right in the armpit of every tall man on the train. It's lovely. Oh, hi sir, nice to meet you. What kind of deodorant do you use? Is that Old Spice? The other thing about public transportation, uh, in particular trains, that gives me trouble is I am extremely uncoordinated. I can barely stand still when I am not moving. So naturally, when I get on a train and it's moving fast and it starts rocking back and forth, I tend to fall into strangers. It's really embarrassing. I mean, nothing says nice to meet you like an accidental butt graze. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's happened. Take a moment to silently judge me. Next thing that really is actually something that peeps me off, but weirded me out when I first moved here, is that people just stop in the middle of the sidewalk. Like, they stop what they're doing and stare at things. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if people in this city think that they're actually holograms and I can pass through them and keep going on my way, but it doesn't quite work that way. There's this pesky stuff called flesh and bones and blood that, you know, kind of inconveniently gets in the way of me casually passing through your body. So the next thing that really like, oh my gosh, I think this is worse of all of them, bicyclists. You know, I can't even tell you how many times I have feared for my life because of a bicyclist. Let me list in order the things I am afraid of happening to me in the city, going from least afraid of to most afraid of. Being shot, being shanked, being mugged, being hit by a bus, 
being hit by a bicyclist. They ride their bikes like they are the only people in the world and nobody else matters. And that brings me to the top of the list of the things about city living that really I just can't deal with. Giant ass rats. Oh my god. I wish I was brave enough to stop and take a picture of one of them so, you know, you guys don't think I'm exaggerating. But the rats here, I swear, they must like pump them up with steroids because they are some like Arnold Schwarzenegger rats. They are not messing around. My first experience with one, I was walking down the street with a friend and it ran out from a shrubbery and across my feet and I just flipped out. And I don't know what it is about me, but when I am scared, I suddenly turn into this like foul mouthed like gangster rapper. I, I don't know where it comes from. So it was like, ah, oh, motherfucking rats. I hate motherfucking rats. Oh my God. Oh, gross, gross. Oh, sounded like some little something like that, which can you can imagine coming out of someone like me was quite ridiculous. I've yet to live that one down. Then I had a second encounter with rats and then that's when I really decided, nope, 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 nope. I am so done with you rat bastards. So one day I was taking out my trash to put it in the dumpster, you know, me, ha 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 ha, going along. And I open the dumpster, put my trash in, and a rat jumps out at me. It jumped out of the dumpster at me. It came at me. I'm sorry, but I am not going to catch the bubonic plague. I can't deal with that. But anyway, I hope you all are having a lovely week and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't be afraid to push the subscribe button up there. For those of you that do subscribe, I present to you a million cute little Pika cats. <coughs> do it for the Pika cats. Seriously, did you see how cute that was? But anyways, I hope that you all have a lovely week and I will see you later. Stay classy, guys.